Welcome to Visual Basic 6. This tutorial is as a result of a request from uh, somebody. So I'm going to start by just sizing my form. Uh, the, tut the tutorial is meant to be a multiplication timetable in Visual Basic 6. So I've added uh, a label right there that we add as the title. Then the next thing I will do is insert a list box right here, followed by a text box and a command button as it's called. I will then increase the font size of all of these components, but just before then I might as well change the caption of the command button to times table is called caption in visual basic six so let's scroll down and increase the font size let's increase that to about maybe 24 that's fine and the text value there let's change the alignment force to center and scroll right down change the font as well to maybe 24 and right there go to where you have text and delete the text content in there now let's increase the text content of the list box as well uh, let's increase the font size right there let's make that maybe 18 and uh, the label right there let's just increase that maybe to about 24 as well and make that bold and go to where it says caption for the label and just enter times table or maybe multiplication timetable multiplication times table right there okay that's now the the interface is all in position now so let's put that in the center and we are now ready to start the coding so I will now double click on this command button come right there and up there type in option explicit underneath dim q as integer there now inside this very command button or let me just show you double click on that and there enter q equals one then use your while q is less than and equals to 12 list one dot add items dot add item q and you can close that and uh, come right down here say q equals q plus one if you don't do that you will end up with an infinite loop and come down here and say as follows y end if i run the program right now and click on this button that's what you see one two twelve okay let's go back into the program just before that let me increase this the size of this list box so let's double click the command button again and uh, enter as follows and speech mark times speech mark and so that's my and right there so let's come in here now what we then need is the text box text box one dot text okay and we enter the string as again the and sign we actually add those value to the list box so we change that to equals then what you now need to do is q multiply by text box one let's get that copy and paste it right here and that's all there is to it so if I run this very program now and enter any value there press the command button this is what you get 
five times table. So you can always improve on this by resetting the button or whatever you want to do. So if you want to reset it, you can just add another button right there to reset. Okay. But uh, uh, if this is your request completed, I'm just going to call it a day right now so you all have a nice day and I suppose you enjoy this brief tutorial. And that's how you develop multiplication timetable using uh, Visual Basic 6. Bye for now, Eve.